morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm doing something pretty interesting. I'm visiting one of my favorite stations in the entire world. We're gonna be taking a tour of it today. It is Kyoto Station. Um, Kyoto Station uh, in Kyoto in Japan. It is one of the most amazing uh, station buildings. They have local trains running from here, metro trains running from here, and the Shinkansen, and the bullet train runs from here as well. And that's what we're taking today. We're taking the bullet train back to Tokyo. I'm not, I may do a little bit of the Shinkansen. Yeah, we'll see a little bit of the Shinkansen at the end, the bullet train. Um, but what I'm actually here to do is to do a tour of the station and show you guys why why it is my favorite train station. So I'm actually up here on a balcony up on a level with um, sort of a few cafes and restaurants and stuff. Down here is uh, the entrance into the JR lines. It's the entrance into sort of the national rail lines, not the bullet trains. You can get some bullet trains through there, but th that's the actual route into the national rail lines. Down there, those stairs going down lead into uh, sort of a, a set of stores and restaurants which run underneath the whole complex and out into the main area outside uh, we are actually going to take a route that's up this escalators here we're going to go up those escalators and up those escalators and up a few more escalators until we get up to the top we can't actually see it yet because it's not in our viewpoint and then you see that sort of looks like a platform that is the route that we're gonna take it's actually a walkway we're gonna take that route all the way over to the other side and then we are going to go back down those escalators back down to this floor so cool all right so let's go oh almost went up the wrong side of the escalator <laughs> When you reach the fourth floor, you start to see some of the really awesome bits of the station. So you can ride all the way up to, it's either the 10th or the 11th floor um, on these escalators, or you can go up these stairs. This is actually a really good workout. I think that'll probably be a really good thing to do if you lived here. <laughs> now I'm glad that we're here during the day because we get the beautiful view of the roof. But the one thing I will say is this place at night is really cool. Um, so the steps that we just saw going all the way up, they, they have little lights on every single line of the stairs. So at night they tend to make pictures and they will often do some kind of event here So during the winter time they'll have snowflakes and um, they'll put sort of scary stuff up for Halloween and that kind of thing but, And they just generally do loads of different colors and loads of different light effects. It's really cool As we go up the escalator, you guys can see that the Isatan department store actually spans both sides of this mega escalator. I think it's connected underneath the escalator, so you don't have to go outside to go from one side to the other. We're actually going on to floor eight at the moment, um, and then you can see it sort of continues over to the other side. Isatan. Um, the department store has a couple of floors on it which are dedicated to ramen restaurants and a few other restaurants, mostly ramen restaurants. So if you're ever stuck for food here in Kyoto, one place that's great to come is to the station and to go to the ramen floor of Hisatan. You'll find some really, really nice ramen places there. Now I'm sorry guys, um, the Japanese sun is a little bit too bright for me so I'm going to put some glasses on. Right, we're at floor 11. Um, but you can actually take stairs on to the Happy Terrace. Um, this is a beautiful place to come for a view of Kyoto. Uh, there are some wonderful views of Kyoto all the way around the city. Because lots of the, the temples are on high up places. And there's a good few mountains. That's <laughs> the Happy Terrace. Uh, but here, there are a few spots which you can look out over the city. Great place to come at night. I haven't been here in the day actually. So this is new for me. This is out the back of Kyoto Station. You can see down to the right here. I'll turn it around. Sorry, we have a tinted window here which makes it easier for people to view, but hard to film. And there's all the tracks which leave Kyoto Station. And out there, there's all the buildings somewhere out there is the Nintendo building. And for those of you who are interested in terrifying views, here is a view from the top of the 
a, well, technically the 12th floor on the Happy Terrace. I'm gonna zoom you in so you get a better view of it. Uh, you see that walkway that connects one side to the other side at the top of the frame. That's where we are going to go next. Actually, we're gonna pop into Raman floor, then we're gonna go to that. There we go. Oh man, the sunshine is really hot. Um, Isatan sort of restaurant floor area is called The Cube. Um, I don't know if it's attached to Isatan, I don't know if it's, um, uh, if this Isatan runs it, but anyway, it's called The Cube. Of on floor 10, uh, these are the restaurants which they have. I'd recommend that Katsukura place there. That is amazing. It's um, sh it breaded pork cutlets, really, really good. We are gonna go down to nine, so let's take the scary stairs down. Oh, that feels so much better. It was so, so hot. Um, so here are all the ramen places. Um, we'll walk through this way. Um, recommended, any of them, just pick one. They're all really good. Uh, usually they will have menus in English. If not, just um, have a look at the pictures at the outside and pick one you like the look of. Um, it really is a good, safe place to eat if you like noodles and meaty broth. inside of the ramen floor, you will find the entrance to the Skyway. This is not for the faint-hearted. If you are scared of heights, you will not like this. Um, sorry, let's, there we go. Uh, the whole station is, 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 is built for people who like being up high and like heights. <laughs> so just be wary about that if you can. It's very quiet in here. Um, I'm very echoey. It's not air-conditioned. But it's okay, it's not too bad. I think we're gonna get a pretty good view. <gasps> Lucky, only one guy in here, look. Wow, there's even an entrance to Isatan here. Throughout this walkway, there are views in either direction, so you'll be stopping throughout. Uh, there's also an amazing view around the whole city and Kyoto also has a tower. Lots of Japanese um, cities have a tower. Uh, it's kind of a tourist attraction. And so you can get a good view of that from here as well. Here we are at one of the uh, stopping points. So we'll check out the view. You might get a bit of a reflection here. Sorry guys, it's an angled window. But that is the tower right opposite the station. And you can sort of see, I'll pull this back a little bit right here, at one of the temples um, popping up over the buildings. So that road that shoots up there, that goes up into the main sort of downtown Kyoto area. Lots of the buses head up there. And right behind the Kyoto Tower Hotel is Kyoto Yodabashi, uh, the Yodabashi camera based here in Kyoto. Over there somewhere where those mountains are, that would be Arashiyama. It's over there somewhere. Um, and over on the other side is the Higashiyama district where Kiyomizu Dera is and the Philosopher's Path. I do enjoy the view of this window that the m windows on the other side sort of create a mirror effect of what's below it. And you can see down there, right down into one of the tracks. Kyoto Station also has a hotel next to it. I believe this is the Grand Via Hotel here in Kyoto. Um, but all of these, but this building around here is all part of that hotel. It's not crazily expensive, but it's a little bit out of my price range for a hotel for the night, so I've not stayed in there. Um, but it's a fantastic place to stay if you do come here because you can take the bullet train to this station and then just wheel your case over here and stay in this hotel, which is pretty convenient. I think these people may be having a tour of this area to see what it would be like for a wedding. I would love to have a wedding here. In Kyoto Station? Oh my god, that would be amazing. That was pretty cool. 
and uh, now we're gonna take a quick tour outside I'm not gonna go too crazy just show you some places where you can go and things to see and then we're gonna go over to the bullet train just outside the station you'll see a number of stairs which go down to a place called Porter Porter is an underground shopping mall and it runs around it runs underneath the whole area uh, that is a cool place to go and shop actually it's not too bad there's some uh, there's some restaurants down there I've not eaten in any of them so I don't know if they're good um, but it's like a whole underground city so when it's raining that's a good place to go to get out of the rain behind these two um, signs is the bus area so that's where you take all the buses you may need to go underground and pop back up to another bus platform to get some of the buses that you're trying to get to uh, over there is an engine into the aqua city I think it's an aquarium I've never been uh, but it's there if you want to visit an aquarium uh, in the evening they have a rainbow fountain light show so it's just there if you want to go see it and then the view that we had from the top of uh, the skyway that is the Kyoto Tower Depending on what trains you're catching from Kyoto Station will depend on where you need to go to get to them. So most of the, the big entrance that we saw here and throughout most of this vlog is the one to get to the national rail trains but not the bullet trains. You can go that way to get to the bullet trains. If you do go that way by mistake it's no big deal um, but that's not the way that you go. To get the metro you have to go into the basement. That's something I didn't show you in that in this vlog. Sorry I've just not had time. Um, but you need to go to the basement and there should then be signs to get you to the metro What when you're in the basement. For Shinkan then you want to go to this floor which I believe is the first floor second floor I think this is the second floor anyway it's the floor with the mist of owner. sorry let's see there <laughs> When you take the, the escalators here in um, Kyoto Station, you'll always be able to see Mr. Donut. And Mr. Donut is the floor that you need to go to to get to the bullet train. You want to follow the route that takes you towards Isatan, and then you want to hang a left. And that's the route that we're going to take in a sec. So you can get into the hotel from this side, even though the hotel's way over on the other side of the building. It has its own special entrance here. I've not been up it. I should try it out one day. This thing on the left hand side, tickets, the Kipu Uliba. This is where you get your tickets for your um, bullet train if you need to speak to somebody. And this is where you get dedicated seats on bullet trains that have um, uh, reserved seats if you have a JR pass. Over there is routes into the Kintetsu Kyoto station if you're getting any trains from Kintetsu Kyoto. I've never actually caught a train from there. Um, but here is the Shinkansen tracks. And if you're coming in with the JR pass, you want to go to the left. This is the inside of the Kyoto Shinkansen area. That's actually where we came from over there. Uh, it does actually have another exit. Sorry, Stephen. Uh, it has another exit which goes out to the JR lines if you want to transfer directly to the JR lines. It also has another one of those transfers just in that direction as well. So you have uh, four platforms here which have two sort of main standing area platforms. So on the left hand side these are all the trains which go to Shinosaka and Hakata. So those are all the trains that are going west. Uh, if you're going to go east, if you're going to go from, to from Kyoto back to Tokyo, these are the platforms that you want, 11 and 12. Airbnb place so thank you so 
much for coming to our tour of Kyoto Station and a short little bit of the Shinkansen. We'll see you all back on the channel another time. Uh, thanks so much. I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Bye! Lychee syrup, whipped cream and, and a tiara cookie. Wow, I like these. Oh, hot strawberry milk and cocoa powder. Ka okay, this is my favorite so far. The cowroo drink. This is my mango milk, which is um, cappuccino. -y.